Hi, you guys. Welcome to my channel, Trusted Gem. Got a squeedo. You can call me Queedo. Either one would do. I answer to both. Please like, share, subscribe, donate, all that good jazz. If you want to book a reading with me, you're more than welcome to. Everything is in the description box below. There's a whole lot of scheming and debacle going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot of stuff going on um, at this present time. Yes, Okra is going to. My spirit team be on it. My spirit mother, my spiritual mother, she be on every scene. Like, she don't let up. <laughs> she don't let up. She this lady do not let up. I thank God for her. Uh, <laughs> yes, um, a celebrity probably is going to kill themselves or end up dead, however, um, unalive themselves, how they put it. Uh, Y'all know I'm, I'm not trying to be insistent. I'm like really dead straight to the point. <laughs> um, and then um, the other said Oprah is going to try to fake her death. So if Oprah, they said Oprah died. No, she did. She faking her death. Um, she. I think she get that idea from Michael Jackson. He faked his death, and he. I think he faked his death, and he really died. Don't quote me on that. I didn't go into spirit and ask that. That's something that I just like watch. Um, somebody with a conspiracy theory could, who could have very well, very well been right, but I just didn't follow up and ask spirit about it so that is not coming from the holy spirit about michael but she did get the idea from that that's where oprah get her idea from um and i was just reading up on her um wikipedia about her life um how she was molested and i tell you um azazel loved people like this how she was arrested and then she was um, endorsed. She her she endorsed Barack Obama, and we know Barack Obama is a part of the Antichrist group. Barack Obama, and Michelle Obama, we know that from the Jeffrey Epstein list. That's why they say um, uh, Antichrist is going to take the office, and they did. They already been up there. That's how they know all about us and everything that's going on. That's why we're being attacked. We were attacked very heavily, um, and I was just reading how she went to Duke and Harvard University. Um, you know, she has, she has many accolades, they say, throughout her career. Um, I don't know what she did to get this accolades and stuff, but Oprah was named after a biblical figure. That's what, that's what they get the, the name Oprah from it in Harpo is because, um, she was named after a, a biblical figure in the book of Ruth, so they say. Um, her, what did I say? She was, the only reason she came out with her stories because she had to, to say her, they say her people sold her, um, story to the National Inquiry. And then it's crazy because her people didn't even believe her, didn't do nothing about it. And then sold her story. So they knew it was true. They just didn't care enough for her, which I'm sorry that happened. But she, they said she was molested by her cousin. It's right here on Wikipedia. It says Oprah Winfrey stated that she was molested by her cousin, her uncle, and her family member starting when she was nine years old. And that is a very impressionable age to be, you know, any age is like craziness. But, um, yeah, she did have a child, but she miscarried it. I think she was like 13 or 14 when she, it's 14 when she became pregnant. At 13, after suffering, she described as years of abuse yeah yeah she 13 she ran away 14 she became pregnant with her son um who was born prematurely and he died um it's a just whole a whole lot of you could see what led up into oprah's um choice making and she did not come from a very good background she was very dirt poor so and and satan love to create people like this, Azazel Lowe to Oprah probably was supposed to be something great. And in and, and, and society as she was, but what Azazel did was take her greatness and, and and instead of God getting the glory, he got the glory because look at what she's doing, look what she's done, um, look at her choices, not saying that she didn't have the power to overcome because she does very know she very much knows about spiritual stuff. So she knows how to heal herself. I don't give nobody a, a, a escape route. I do um, empathize with her, but after you become the predator, it's it's hard to empathize with the victim part of the predator because you became the predator. You became something that you didn't like. So 
it's safe to say she don't like herself, but she's running. She's going to probably fake her death. She already tried to run and they out the country because they're, they're going to arrest uh, people like this. They're, they're, she, people don't, she already tried to run out the country and now she's probably going to try to fake her death. She doesn't want to die. She wants to continue to live. So, and you guys know about the cloning I told you about. Oh, girl, and yeah, that situation. But yeah, she did not come from a very good background, and this is what a Zezu do. Um, he did that to, in my life too, where I didn't come from a like I wasn't as bad as that. But my mom was truly loving. But my mom, a Zezu, had my mom killed because my mom, she was born. So, 99 nine, 1965 so she had 9-9 he knew the frequency within what she was going to do um and so uh he created a whole scandal with that and had my mom killed um and yeah it was just a whole lot a whole lot of Azazel been like he he jumping in and out in and out of other people's bodies and he has to have that Pazuzu. He has to sodomize people in order to gain full control over the person's mind, body, and soul. But that's why people are not strong enough to come against Azazel is because of molestation. But if you confess it and then you you heal from it and don't come become like the people that made you that way, you can't overcome it. Um, a lot of times... Um, Azazel, that's why people say, like, I, I just can't understand it because we're looking at it from a per, a person and it's really not. It's from a, a spiritual perspective. Azazel been on this planet for uh, over 200 years, over that, probably thousands and thousands of years um, back when Egypt fell. Egypt fell was because of Pazuzu, which is sodomizing, which people want to have control of the people's mind, thoughts, and the way they think and influence people to... Uh, with their will and when you when you constantly do that and you just keep it going that causes a um nation to fall that will cause uh, a country to fall that will cause a, a, the whole collapse of something that's why they say the bible talks about sodom and gomorrah that's why they when they were saying they want the prophet and they wanted this particular prophet who had came to town to tell another prophet something and um, the, the guy said, no, you can have my daughter. They didn't even want his daughter. They wanted the man because they wanted to sodomize him to gain control over his powers, his abilities. And that's, that's what Azazel do. Azazel was very rampant back then too. I don't know the partic particular scripture, but, um, I didn't even know I was going to be talking about that scripture, but you guys, I think, I don't know who it was. I'm not even going to pretend like I remember, but I remember the story where one prophet came to town to tell the prophet, the other prophet something and other man got something. And then he said, no, don't they, all these people came up to his door and was like, we, we want the person that just came the, the prophet just came. And he was like, no, you could take my daughter. You know, he would offer his daughter up and, they didn't want his daughter. They said, give me the man because they wanted to, to sodomize him and take control of his body. That's basically of his energy. That's basically what they want. And that's what the Zezu does. And oh, <clears throat> so, yeah, you guys, that's that's it's very prominent throughout the Bible. You will see where Zezu manipulated a lot of things. Um, and that's exactly what what he did with. um Oprah, Beyonce, Jay-Z, all of those people um, put them in situations to alter their mind to be more demonic than to be divine. You know what I'm saying? Um, so he can have his foot soldiers. So he can have, and that's basically what Barack Obama, Michelle Obama, he was in the White House. Azazel who had access to the White House. Um, who else? Um, Jeffrey, he had, uh, he had, he had, um, access to a lot of things that he shouldn't have access to but people didn't know that there was a Christ conscious and the little people that did know couldn't do much about it they didn't have the um they they tr they tried to awaken people for so long of what was going on but people wouldn't believe them but now we at a standard uh, at a place in society where we know spiritual warfare is very prevalent it's it's a great divide it's either you for Satan or or for um the most high God and that's to be sovereign and free and healthy. And that's what the most high God, he wants us abundant. He wants us to not abundance energy. He wants us sovereign, free and healthy connected to him. So we can move at his will at what, what's greatest good for all and not for 
who wants to have power and control and have all the fame and fortune. You know what I mean? So that being said, it's, that's that's why if you're wondering. Sorry, that's my prayer alarm. If you're wondering, that's why a lot of people are. You like, well, how they do this? And because they're they're so tricked, and then. 10, 10 on the clock. Um, they're so tricked in their mind um, because of what Azazu put them through in life. So life has, he put them through societal point, standpoints and viewpoints, which is a lot of time false because Azazu is controlling the narrative. Um, and that's why you have to disconnect from societal standpoints and viewpoints and from people and situations because as, if Azazu can't control you and when he doesn't control you when he doesn't have authority, he has to control the people around you, how they treat you, how they abuse you and do stuff of that nature so that he can come in and fully gain, have reign over the situation. That's why it's sovereign and free is 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 Christ's conscious people. They're sovereign and free because they got the 13 keys. That's what the original when I, before Adam and Eve ate off the tree, that's the original. Um, that's the original state we were created in in the thirteen keys, which is perfection. The thirteen keys is perfection. Okay, not saying that I'm perfect, but when you have the thirteen keys, that creates perfection in the in the sprout. That's why your sins are covered. Anyways, we're not gonna get too much into that. I, I wasn't even. I wasn't even on that. I wasn't even gonna teach on that. But um. But yeah, that's that's what Azazel do, and this is why they make the decision. They went, well, this happened to me, and I learned this from this experience, and so he he plays a trick on their mind. You get what I'm saying? He play is not like oh somebody oh I just want to be evil and be have all the power and control. It's more like okay, this slowly happened to them, this slowly happened to them, and he eased them into this, and now oh no, if this person do this, then they're gonna have this much more power over me, and I can't let that happen. That's that's how that. That's a very small window, a small example of what I mean when um, Azazu take control. He he baby step you into it and he process you into it by societal standpoints and viewpoints about abuse, about the way you're treat, treated by your parents and the people around you. And that is very prevalent within society and within this community of people that make these choices to be predators. Um I don't know what happened to Michelle or Barack Obama to make them that way. Um, I wasn't gift, gifted. I'm pretty sure Spirit would let me know, but I'm not really on that. But Spirit really got me into Oprah because of my spiritual mother. And um, that's what happened to Oprah. That's that's why Azazel liked people like that. That's why he liked to have people sodomize each other and victimize each other and abuse each other so that that can stick in their conscience and they can have that pattern of behavior. Most people who are victimized um, or molested are because of their uh, human nature and because of the Christ conscious hadn't really been prevalent back in it back in those times or whatever. Um, this is this is why this is why um, it's more easier for them to choose to be demonic. They they're more uh, they're more uh, they're more um, is 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 a more percentage a higher percentage for them to be the predator than to be the victor in this situation simply because of the way that it was set up and that's how Zezu set it up that he set it up for his gain and everybody else's failure even you know everybody he don't care about nobody to be honest he just care about himself he pretends and he'll sit down and give you all the knowledge and astonish you and entertain you and do all those things if you don't have a holy spirit if you don't have discernment intuition and you if you don't have a moral compass you're gonna fall for it and if you do if you have a weak moral compass and, and a weak intuition and weak stuff going on within yourself you're weak again you're gonna fall for it um a lot of people have strong souls that have already been here. They have very strong souls and they know right from wrong. That's why a lot of us have come back at this time like, no, that ain't right. No, I won't dare won't treat nobody like this. Nope, that's not me. Nope, that's crazy. I, I can't go over there. And it's and it is crazy how they will say that people like us who was conscious of our energy and conscious of how we treat others and oh, you're just crazy because we're kind and we're nice. And it's not that case. We understand that we're be put here to be loved for one another and we're not here to mistreat each other. And though we do get mistreated sometimes, it's all in a, in a, in a, in the name of love and learning and evolving. And if you're not doing that and you're just out here being demonic and stagnant, then you belong to Azazel. Point blank, period. And that's why she chose the things that Oprah chose the things that she chose because look at her life. And she had to put herself up 
to a place in life by herself. And it left no room for God. Nobody talked, I don't know if anybody talked about God, but it's left very little room for, you know, positive reinforcement because of society viewpoints and standpoints. And I'm not saying that she didn't have every opportunity to repent because she did. She know once you stop this, one thing about spirituality, once you suffer spirituality, one thing you have the right to choose is whether you're going to be good or evil. That's one thing. And if you're one of those souls that that's, that is in a gray area, they, they watch you very closely because you, you, it's going to, your, the choices you make are going to determine who you're going to be and who you're going to serve. And the more demonic choices you're making, the more demonic you're going to be. The more God, divine choices you make and the more you repent, the more divine you're going to be. A lot of us make mistakes, but molesting children is not a mistake. That's a choice. Okay. Uh, get, taking something from somebody's body and not, I'm talking about people of that's 18 and older and not having their permission. That's, that's just not acceptable though. We, that's a, that's a great, that's a black and white area, uh, along the, the whole world as a whole, even in other cultures, people know that that's wrong, but it's tradition. So they'll keep doing it. But here in America, we know that that's not right. That is a, a very much a standard and it, it's not that they didn't know. Because they knew, and they cho- they they chose the things that they chose, and now the reaping has come. You're not going to be able to run. You're not going to be able to hide, because it's people like me, it's people like my spiritual mother, it's people and that are awakened, and we are in our purpose. We see you, God sees you, the Holy Spirit sees you, and you're not going to get away with it. You have to reap. If you don't get on your, I. <laughs> Oprah needs to get on national TV, denounce every sin, because publicly, she's been a very public figure. Beyonce, denounce every sin. Jay-Z, denounce every freaking sin and profess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Only way. That's the only way I see it happening for them. That's the only way. That's the only way I see it happening. So I'm out, you guys. Um, I just wanted to give you what spirit has for me to give you, and I'm out. Peace.